Indian jumping ants, scientifically known as Harpenathos saltator, are a fascinating species of ants that display remarkable jumping abilities. They belong to the subfamily Panarinae, a diverse group of ants found in various regions of the world. Native to India and parts of Southeast Asia, these ants have garnered attention for their unique behavioral patterns, communication strategies, and reproductive systems. In this video, I will provide a comprehensive exploration of Indian jumping ants, covering their taxonomy, physical characteristics, life cycle, behavior, communication, and ecological significance. So, if you new to channel, then subscribe to my channel. Let's back to the video. Taxonomy and classification. Indian jumping ants belong to the animal kingdom, phylum Arthropoda, class Insecta, order Hymenoptera, and family Formicidae. Within the family Formicidae, they belong to the subfamily Panarinae, which comprises more than 2,000 species of ants. The genus name, Harpenathos, is derived from the Greek words, harp, meaning, a sickle, and, genathos, meaning, jaw. The specific epithet, saltator, refers to their jumping behavior. Physical characteristics. Indian jumping ants exhibit distinct physical features that set them apart from other ant species. They have a robust body structure with a size ranging from 8 to 12 millimeters in length. These ants have a reddish-brown or dark-brown exoskeleton, with a glossy appearance. Their bodies are segmented into three parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The head is larger than the thorax and is equipped with a pair of long antennae, and mandibles used for sensing the environment and capturing prey, respectively. One notable feature of Indian jumping ants is their unique morphology of the hind legs, which enables their impressive jumping ability. The hind legs are elongated and have enlarged femora, tibi, and tarsi. This adaptation allows them to leap several times their body length when threatened or during foraging. Life cycle and reproduction. Indian jumping ants, like other ant species, have a complex life cycle consisting of different stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The reproductive system of these ants follows a eusocial structure, characterized by the presence of a queen, workers, and males. The queen is the primary reproductive individual in the colony and is responsible for laying eggs. Fertilized eggs develop into female workers, while unfertilized eggs develop into males. The workers perform various tasks within the colony, such as foraging, nest maintenance, brood care, and defense. Mating occurs during a specific period known as the nuptial flight, where winged males and females emerge from the colony and engage in aerial mating. Once mated, the female establishes a new colony by excavating a small nest chamber. She seals herself inside the chamber and lays a batch of eggs. During this phase, the queen loses her wings and becomes permanently wingless. The eggs hatch into larvae, which are legless and maggot-like in appearance. The larvae are entirely dependent on the workers for food and care. The workers feed the larva with regurgitated food, consisting of a mixture of glandular secretions and solid food particles. As the larva grow, they molt several times until reaching the pupal stage. Inside the pupal cocoon, metamorphosis takes place, transforming the pupa into an adult ant. Behavior and Social Structure Indian jumping ants exhibit a fascinating array of behaviors and possess a well-defined social structure. They are predominantly diurnal, meaning they are active during the day. These ants are known for their highly aggressive nature, both in intra- and interspecific interactions. The social structure of Indian jumping ants is characterized by a single queen, multiple workers, 
and sometimes a few reproductive males. The queen is the mother of all workers and is responsible for producing offspring. The workers are sterile females, and their tasks are divided into different castes based on age and specialization. When threatened, Indian jumping ants can launch themselves into the air and travel several centimeters in a single leap. This remarkable escape mechanism helps them evade predators or quickly reach food sources. The jumping behavior is achieved by coiling the body and suddenly releasing the stored energy in their hind legs, propelling them forward. Communication and chemical signaling. Like many social insects, Indian jumping ants rely on sophisticated chemical communication systems to coordinate their activities and maintain colony cohesion. They utilize pheromones, which are chemical signals released by individuals, and detected by others through specialized sensory organs. Pheromones serve a variety of functions within the colony. Alarm pheromones are released when a threat is detected triggering a rapid response from nearby ants, including aggressive behaviors and coordinated defense. Apart from chemical signaling, Indian jumping ants also communicate through tactile interactions. Hello friends, if you are facing problem to be viral on YouTube, so this is the right course for you. I have made a YouTube course for you. By following this course, you will be viral on YouTube in a month. I guarantee to you that you will be viral on YouTube in a month. This is a golden chance. The course price is just $10. All the necessary details are mentioned in this video description. Please go through it. This is a golden chance. You will be viral in a month. Inshallah. Thank you. Exchanging information and reinforcing social bonds. This behavior helps in recognition and discrimination between colony members and non-nestmates ecological significance and interactions. Indian jumping ants play a significant ecological role in their native habitats. As predators, they contribute to regulating the population of small invertebrates, including insects and arthropods. By preying on these organisms, they help maintain the balance of local ecosystems. Their foraging activities also contribute to seed dispersal and nutrient cycling. As they scavenge for food, they inadvertently transport seeds, facilitating plant dispersal. Additionally, the debris and organic matter they collect during foraging contribute to soil fertility and decomposition processes. Indian jumping ants engage in interactions with other species, both competitive and cooperative. They compete with other ant species for resources such as food and nesting sites. Conclusion Indian jumping ants, Harpenetha saltator, exhibit remarkable jumping abilities, unique social structures, and intricate communication systems. Their distinctive physical characteristics, such as enlarged hind legs, enable them to perform impressive leaps. They contribute to the stability and diversity of their ecosystems. The study of Indian jumping ants provides valuable insights into the evolutionary adaptations and ecological interactions of social insects. I hope so now you will understand Indian jumping ants. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.